In today's video, we're going to be looking at Casper Coin smart contracts. So smart contracts on Casper Coin haven't been released yet. However, on the website, they actually talk about smart contracts in the planning stages. So this is on the developments page. And if we click the plus here, it just says the aim of Casper is to become the fastest, most scalable and secure layer one power crypto. And we feel we've already reached this benchmark and there's still some fine tuning for peak performance. However, performance of the sake of performance is not the end goal of Casper. The broader goal is to create the ultimate layer one to implement smart contracts, DeFi, layer two applications over it. It's our hope that the future ecosystem will arise on Casper and that will be strong as the foundation and wonderful community that helped birth it. So this is at basically the bottom of their developments. So they have all these done in testing, completed. So that's the Dagnite. And then these are in testing mobile wallet, the Rust coding language rewrite. These are in development. However, smart contract is the only one in planning. So it's kind of like an afterthought for the developers as they're not really focused on smart contracts such as yet. They're really trying to develop and test all of these things before smart contracts. However, there was a medium post on the Casper community and exploration of smart contracts where Jonathan Sopolinski talked about how he would implement smart contracts or at least the idea of what kind of smart contracts we would be looking at. So it says here, Casper is evaluating the adoption of smart contracts with a technology known as rollups, designed to improve the speed and efficiency of blockchain transactions. This involves two potential paths, each with its own implications and challenges. So these are the two options that they have. So hashtag is Jonathan Sobolinski. And it says here, the two possible integration concepts is Casper native smart contracts. And then the second one is Casper as a sequencing layer. So with the first option, we would fully integrate rollup technology into Casper's existing infrastructure. This approach involves harnessing and creating Casper native smart contracts, essentially automated scripts that execute specific actions when certain conditions are met. These smart contracts would function at higher speeds by incorporating rollups and the execution would be finalized on the Casper platform. However, this route is not without its challenges. In essence, it would require forking and adapting an existing rollup code base this would be akin to converting a complex software from one programming language to another. It's a labor intensive process, but the end result would be a seamless integration of the rollup technology, fully tailor made for Casper's platform. A potential template for this approach could be Matlab's Zsync. This rollup project could be a starting point for Casper's own native smart contracts. And this is the ZK Sync smart contracts by here. So this could be the foundation for Casper's rollup on the actual Casper network. So it'd be native to the network. However, we'll go into option two here. The other approach is a more hybrid solution. Here, Casper would serve as a sequencing layer, which essentially means it would organize transactions. However, the settlement or finalization of those transactions would still occur on Ethereum. So they're gonna integrate the smart contract into Ethereum. For this method to work, Casper would need to find a modular rollup code base that can support switching the sequencing layer from Ethereum to Casper. This could be a smoother process as it would only require minor updates to the Casper network. Nevertheless, there are downsides to this approach. By relying on Ethereum for settlement, Casper risks becoming an Ethereum sidechain, which might affect its independence and could mean the bulk of economic activity remains on the Ethereum chain. A potential model for this could be the Starkware's Sharp shared prover. So in option two, they're talking about having it on the Ethereum network and as they said, it would affect independence, obviously, but it would also be affected by the Ethereum network itself. I know Ethereum hasn't actually gone down yet as such, but if the Ethereum chain fails, then the smart contracts won't be executed as well. So you kind of have to rely on the Ethereum chain to be up. And I believe that this network is probably more stable than the Ethereum network. The conversation around Casper's potential adoption of rollups also touches on the platform's native smart contracts. If Casper fully integrates rollups, the platform could develop its own unique smart contract environment. This would mean that Casper's native smart contracts explicitly tailored to the platform's infrastructure would continue to have a relevant role. Complemented by rollups, technology improved efficiency and speed. On the other hand, should Casper opt for the sequencer role with settlement occurring on Ethereum, it opens up another set of possibilities. In this scenario, Casper could fully immerse itself in the established ecosystem of Ethereum, this means that Casper could recreate Ethereum's smart contract infrastructure on its platform. Instead, focusing on providing rapid, efficient sequencing of transactions, this would allow Casper to tap into Ethereum's thriving financial applications, potentially accelerating the platform's ability to offer advanced services. 
Mainly one of the thriving financial applications would probably be stuff like Uniswap. So these would be decentralized exchanges that facilitate a bunch of transactions. Also OpenSea executes smart contracts for NFTs. So also Casper could possibly adopt a dual strategy approach integrating elements from both options. Regardless of the chosen path, each potential integration concept highlights a different facet of Casper's adaptability and readiness for innovation. By incorporating rollups into the system or connecting its operations with the Ethereum network, Casper is committed to embracing cutting edge blockchain technology. So they're talking about these two options here, as we saw, they are saying that they could implement both of them. I believe they don't know which one to pick yet, but this is their idea and their concepts that they could use. Now on Twitter, it says down here in the development discord of Casper, it says when the time is right, I'll publish my smart contract design. It must be implemented natively. So this is uh, Jonathan Sompolinski. So people were confused, meaning that he would choose option one. But then down here is explained this screenshot is used as an indication that Casper's SC design is ready and that Jonathan will publish it when the time is right. However, he didn't clarify after if there's any plans to use the first option. So we're talking about could they use the first or second option? People thought that because he said it needed to be implemented natively, that would be the first option. However, he doesn't know if they're gonna even use the first option yet. And he will publish his design when the time is right. So lastly, I just wanna look at Uniswap V3. This is a smart contract that's used by Uniswap. All these decentralized exchanges utilize these smart contracts. And one of the main things that we can do with Casper smart contracts is actually add liquidity into Casper, and then we could facilitate transactions. And therefore, you know, you could get paid for basically add in liquidity and facilitating transactions through decentralized exchanges, basically staking. But I know we're not actually getting coins back from the network, we're getting it from the liquidity pool. Uniswap V3 was the most used Ethereum contract in 2022. So that's probably at the height of the bull run. And when we look here, it says according to the data, the Uniswap V3 used over 2.8 million gas in 2022. This is more than three times higher the amount of gas consumed by Uniswap V2 showing that users have flocked in mass to decentralized exchanges newest iteration. So this is one of the biggest ones and I believe OpenSea's Seaport NFT marketplace with over 1.5 million unique addresses. Uniswap V3 also ranks higher than any other Ethereum D app. So here we have the top Ethereum smart contracts. We have the Uniswap V3, the Seaport for OpenSea and then OpenSea Wyvern Exchange, USDT token, obviously, Uniswap V2, OpenSea again, USDC token, ENS registration, and then WETH token. So as it says here, with over 3 million gas spent on over 141.6 million transactions, Tether USDT saw 27.7 million transactions this year and used 1.4 million gas. So what we're going to see probably if Casper implements it natively is stuff like this, where we can be using it on decentralized exchanges. However, if we don't implement it natively, it opens us up to all of these contracts that we could use on the Ethereum network. So it's kind of a trade-off. We want to either establish our own smart contract kind of bubble or ecosystem, or we could already join a massive ecosystem of smart contracts on the Ethereum chain. This is what the developers, I guess, are deciding. So maybe they should put it up to a vote for community members. I don't know how much of the community members know kind of how smart contracts work and how they, you know, can improve a network. Even when I started off, I didn't really know what a smart contract was. Everyone talks about smart contracts, just saying, you know, people made this much money from smart contracts or they did this with a smart contract. However, a lot of people just explain that smart contracts are where you facilitate a transaction basically uh, without the two parties knowing who's doing it. My best explanation for the simplest smart contract that I can think of is probably like a vending machine. So if you put money into a vending machine, you could press a button and then you get a snack out. Firstly, nobody knows that you've put the money into the vending machine, so you have that anonymity. And once you press the button, you're gonna get whatever you've chosen out of the vending machine. That's kind of what a smart contract is. Once you do something on the chain, it executes the smart contract and you get something in return. So it takes a lot for people to actually understand what smart contracts are. Now the Uniswap V3 smart contract is basically to facilitate decentralized exchange transactions and Uniswap obviously is the biggest decentralized exchange out there. So if we could have Casper on these decentralized exchanges, we could add liquidity through smart contracts 
either on the Ethereum network or natively. So that's it for the video. Leave a comment below what you think about Casper smart contracts, whether we should have them on the Ethereum network or we should have them natively implemented into the Casper network. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video for more content like this.